Okay. You know what? Too many things have gone wrong today, and I'm not here for it. I just woke up, and I go to grab my camera, and it unfortunately is still not working from when I was in Italy. We're gonna be trying to film on my phone today. It's 11:11, so today I kind of wanted to do like a little bit of a self care day. Self care is different to whoever it's directed towards. Now let me explain. Some people, especially on YouTube, self care day is like I work out four times. I unfortunately don't have my license, and both my parents aren't home, and none of my friends have their license either, and none of my friends really live close to me either so we're gonna be doing stuff at home and trying to feel productive for me a self-care day is doing things that i haven't had the chance to do and that i want to achieve before the school year starts because i start school tomorrow before i want to bulge my eyes out of when i go to school and have to do a bunch of work um, i'm gonna do it today and i'm gonna try to cram all that today i'm not changing out of this outfit it's sweatpants oh the dogs are out. Yay! So first things first, I'm gonna try to clean my room. Because she's a bit of a mess, everything is everywhere. Honestly, it's not even that bad. It's just there's a bunch of random sh in random places and I'm gonna try to fix that. I literally have not gone school supplies shopping yet, so I'm probably gonna do a video like that during the school year because she's last minute. Yeah, I thought that it would be a good idea to make my home space cleaner. I'm gonna open the windows and blinds, not because I want people to see me, but because I don't want it to be depressingly dark in here. Let's get started. Okay, now that I'm done cleaning, I still look a little ratty, so we might try to change that, but I don't mm, really care. I don't feel like sh so I don't feel like I need to do anything. I don't know. What I'm gonna start by doing is my skincare. Right now I have a bowl with an ice ball. I have my toner, which is supposed to be only used to go to sleep. And I also have this vitamin C serum. Oh, vitamin C serum. And the last thing is moisturizer. I've been raving about this one, but I might try to try a new one. I don't know. Maybe one for bed that's a bit thicker. I've seen these ice rollers. Yeah, I don't ever do this. So this is not like a part of my skincare routine. I really want to buy them. Oh my feels so good. I heard this is actually maybe not good for you though. I don't care. Oh my god. Beauty is pain. I look like a child. Maybe I should have gotten a towel. It's dripping all over me. Yeah, it literally is dripping all over my shirt. This was definitely a moment in history. Should I do ASMR? I'm finally finished with the ice ball. I actually cannot stop. That was the best feeling of my life. I'm not joking. some light makeup here. I feel like sometimes the worst feelings are when you're really tired and you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna do my makeup to make me feel better. And then you do a bunch of makeup and you're like, I liked it better when I had nothing on. I feel like that's the type of mood that I'm in. So I'm just gonna end up by doing a little bit of a base. <laughs> just concealer and something glowy to give that shine. I'm gonna start going in to bronzers and other little things. I'm not a big fan of cakey makeup. Personally, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. Like I feel it on my skin. And I finally found a brand that has just come out with their bronze balm, which is literally gorgeous. And they sent it to me. So thank you so much to Merit Beauty. So this is the gorgeous packaging. It looks so rich, so cute, but I love that it's gold. It gives such like a sleek, I feel like Vogue it girl doing her makeup type vibe. I've been religiously using this because if you're like me and you struggle and you have your face that's significantly paler than your entire body and especially in the winter, this gives you a natural glowy dewy bronze that can either be where the sun hits you depending if you want something more soft or something more contoury depending on the shade that you get and where you place it. So you can either place it at like higher points 
like this, or you can place it in other places depending on your face shape and what works for you. But this is my holy grail. I also use this for nose contour. I also love brands that are extremely ethical, so I love the fact that they're vegan, clean, and cruelty-free. If you're interested, I have my affiliate link in the description box below, so you can definitely go check that out. Happily, this is not the only thing that Merit Beauty sent to me, since they are literally the nicest people in the whole world. Look at how easy that goes on, and look how pigmented that is. I know. obsessed with this. If you shop MeritBeauty.com, you get free shipping on all orders over $40 USD and a free signature bag. Now I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup routine and then I'm going to follow up with the rest of what Merit Beauty sent to me. <laughs> So something that I never used to do before were my brows. But then Merit Beauty sent me this and I needed to try it. My makeup routine now is genuinely the best that it's ever been. And these products have made such a difference. So I never knew how to fill in my brows. Makeup was always something that I found really difficult and took me a long time to understand. I place it on my brows. I got it in shade brown. It kind of just gives it that color and brushes them up at the same time. I feel like we can already see that difference. And then finally, this is the signature bag that it comes with. I have all my makeup in it right now. So, lifesaver. And you get this for free. My makeup routine is now finished. I feel like it's literally giving such clean girl makeup look. Now, I have to figure out what else I want to do today. And I kind of have something in mind. Now we're in the kitchen, my holy place that I always manage to mess up in. Today is going to be different because I'm, I'm not making anything really difficult. I'm trying to make like an omelet or just like an egg. So now that I have the eggs, I don't know. Like, I don't want it to be plain. So I'm gonna add stuff in it. I was gonna add milk in it. I was gonna get the milk out. And then I like shook it. And I think that it was all ice. Cause I heard it like slushy and I just refused. I genuinely used to have a milk obsession. Like brain cells in my brain just changed. And I stopped drinking it. But like, when I tell you I used to drink milk, like literally, like I would not drink anything else. Like with every meal, like please. And I would bring, I would bring it to school. I was like that kid. Yay, was that fun? Now I'm gonna push them together. Should I add like soy milk? Oh wait, no. I feel like that's weird. Pepper. I don't have any grated cheese. I'm gonna be taking these squares and I'm just gonna like rip them apart. I also wanted to make bacon. I hate opening new packages. I usually just don't like cooking because I don't like cleaning after. So if I don't use any pots or pans or forks and knives, then I don't have to clean them. <gasps> Shut up, they're maple flavored. I was informed that apparently you need to cut the bacon in half. There's a bunch of juiciness in it. <laughs> I destroyed it. All I have to do is take it out of the packaging. I literally forgot that I'm supposed to be making an omelette. I just didn't do that and it's like on fire right now. We're gonna let that simmer for a bit. We're gonna go back to the bacon part. Disgusting. Look at the difference. Update, the omelette was a fail. I'm sorry. What is that? All the bacon is literally stuck. I just finished eating my food. It was actually really good, even though by the time I sat down, the eggs were literally freezing cold. I decided I'm gonna make a smoothie because I haven't had one in a while. And I saw bananas sitting over here and I was just like, I feel like I just need to do it. I'm gonna make um, strawberry, banana, and mango. And then after that, I think I'm just going to watch some Netflix, probably The Office. I actually was not an Office fan, but then I'm starting to get into it now. First couple episodes are so trash though. After that, it's kind of like, my mindless show like when i'm eating or like when i need to have something to watch i watch the office banana is added the mango pieces to be honest are kind of ratchet and then i'm gonna add vanilla soy it's so delicioso very good now I'm gonna watch my show and then I'm gonna do some scrapbooking with you guys because I've been using a film camera just since literally the end of my 
high school year and I printed them all out and I want to do a big scrapbook so when I'm older I can look back and see really sad memories and like good memories. I also want to print out some in my camera roll too so what I'm going to be doing today hopefully I don't have to redo because I want to put them in order and I unfortunately don't have the ones for my phone. I only have my film photos. We're back to my room. I'm literally so comfortable. So I'm going to give, well I told you guys that I want to do a bit of like scrapbooking or like making a photo album. So these are all my photos so far. I have three sets. One of them is significantly larger than the other because Dahlia printed it out for me and her dad got me doubles of every single photo that I had. And then I wanted a photo album. I was just going to get it off of Amazon, but I didn't want to wait. And second, I couldn't find one that I actually liked in the two seconds that I actually checked. So I just made my mom go out for me because she's an icon. So this is the one that I got. It holds 600 photos. In the front, there's some automated pictures. You know, all you need is love and grandma. So I thought this was a perfect fit. I'm obviously going to be changing these photos. I don't know who these people are. I'm going to go through some of the photos with you. Try not to expose myself because obviously film is very real. It's very real life. You can only have like one or two of that photo max unless you do a whole photo shoot with one camera but i kind of wanted to make it in order but i don't have the other photos let's go through the photos but i do post a lot of these on my instagram so if you want to follow that that's really cool so this is me and one of my best friends dahlia this is on her birthday it takes me a million years to post on instagram i don't know why i literally have a photo of this girl in my old science class i literally asked her to take a photo of like some of me and my friends and she like thought it was funny and she put it around to take a selfie of herself so i have that which i'm literally no. This is me and my friends from school. So I was in science class. Yeah, like we got to make slime one day. I'm gonna put all of like one event together, I think. I love this picture. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you. So keep you guys intrigued. So I kind of put them into categories. Second file is like all of these. What is this? What? I'm so confused right now. No joke. What the freak? Oh my god, I didn't even know I had these. I don't know what the point of keeping these were. There's always some stupid photo like this that I take. Like, what is that? It's an accident all the time, but like, they say, oh my god, yeah, like, if it doesn't work, I'm not gonna print it out. Girl. This was me and some friends at our, I forget what it's called, but it's like everyone got to school at like 5 a.m. We just all like hung out, ate food. That was our last day of school. The fact that I don't remember, like, what is this? It was like the sunrise, and then we went to school like before everyone got there. Set up a bunch of pranks, like, put like balloons everywhere, put like a for sale sign on our principal's door and stuff. And then later on, we stood like where the cars come, like for school. And like, we just had a bunch of posters. We had a bunch of stuff that like made noise and like people were like honking and stuff. It was really cute. I have a picture with my old physics teacher. I don't think I could put that in because I have to ask and I don't really want to do that. Oh my God, this one's on my Instagram. This is what I mean, posters like this. It's me, Laura and John. Later on that day, finally, we're like all in the same classroom. We're all like waiting for the time to hit and the school and uh, she's crying. On that same camera, I have pictures of like prom and stuff. I honestly, I hate most of them if I'm being honest. I'll show this one for now, but look how cute Eva looks. My two gorgeous gals look amazing. Kind of hate all the rest. I have one last picture thing to go through and then i'm just gonna start placing them in the book which i think i'm gonna do like off camera i don't know last one i got developed like a couple days ago see i don't understand why this gets developed like what is this who would think that i would want a picture of this oh my god this is pictures from my trip this is me and dahlia this is us in the bus in, like london this is me on one of those like red buses oh my god this is one of my favorite pictures this is me and dahlia in front of a sculpture of feet and this is me and laura at the arcade I miss it so much. The fact that me and this bitch are being separated. I want to murder her. No joke. Aww. I went to a Chase Atlantic concert, which was really fun. I love them so much. I literally got it while they were throwing the water. And finally, my last two pictures, me and Dahlia, and then there was fireworks in the back and a Ferris wheel, but unfortunately, I don't know why they did not show up, except I think this one, you can see a bit of the fireworks. I think right now it's around 4 p.m. After this, I think I'm going to be done with this video. I don't know. It was kind of like a reset day. And after this, I think that I'm literally just going to sleep if I'm being completely honest, which I'm happy about. I'm good. I just finished doing a bit of my photo album. It was a little difficult-ish just because I have a lot of stuff that I haven't printed yet. So I'm probably going to literally have to redo it, but it doesn't matter. I had fun doing it. It was so cute to go through all the photos, but now I kind of just want to use this as a time to go through kind of like everything and get myself organized, if that makes any sense. So I recently bought this. First of all, 
I love the cover. It's literally just a calendar. And I don't know, it has like zodiac signs and stuff on it. It feels very spiritual. It makes me feel good. And I also love the color green. It's my favorite color. So I really like this. I wanted to kind of just write in everything that I would kind of like need for this month or what I felt like doing. I don't know. It makes me feel like I've been productive. Here, I'll give you a tour of the little calendar. So here's like the little mini version of everything. And it's like all of the different holidays of the year, all the important days that they automatically put in your calendar, especially the ones that are online. I'm just starting college. So my schedule is very different. So there's a place where you put in the semester and then what your schedule is like every single day of the week. And they have the times, which is gonna help me to death because I have not memorized my schedule. Are you kidding? Like my grades and then my final score. And then they kind of just have a bunch of pages like that. So I can do that multiple times during the semester. Then we go into the actual calendar part. So it shows you a monthly version of just all the little boxes. I think I'm just planning to put like little reminders there or like not something that has a specific time or whatever. Oh my God, birthdays. I'm so bad with birthdays, but I know some people's birthdays. There's this cute little part that shows goals for the month, amount of exercise done, which is probably going to be like zero. We'll try to change that. These are like, the actual days. So I honestly, I haven't used this yet. I kind of wanted to save it for this video and start now. Maybe that was just me procrastinating, but anyways, because I'm gonna probably just start writing stuff down, try to make it pretty. I bought these pens as well, which make me really nervous because they're not like erasable, so. literally just written down some reminders and recopied down my school schedule for the year into my calendar notebook thing this is going to be the end of my video thank you guys so so much for watching genuinely reminder to do things for yourself even though you might have other things that you think are more important to do those more important things will not get done if you don't take time for yourself and make sure that you're in the right mental space to be doing those things so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon we have a round of applause for the glowy makeup thank you thank you link is still in the description if you like it love you guys so much doodles till next time